Welcome back. There is a new kid on the block when it comes to Vibe coding, prototyping called Kira from Amazon, AWS, and it might have actually killed Cursor um, as far as I can tell. So let's have a look at Kira today together. And before we do, let's let's just acknowledge how cute the, the branding is. Uh, I think it's supposed to be this helpful ghost. So anyway, let's go and look at Kiro. So the project we'll be using today is um, is our POC that we looked at last time uh, called Clay, which allows um, which allows me to create uh, prototypes using um, v0.dev API. Okay, so agent steering, I'm gonna click on the button here, generate steering docs. It has opened Kiro, uh, the chat window. Let me just move my face here you can see that it is analyzing the repository which means the entire project here uh, it should pick up that we have uh, two apis running and yeah we'll see what it generates it talks about the ai ai coding generation and then the multimodal ai assistant as well target use case ai component development and prototyping is very correct so it creates the the project structure Obviously, you can do that manually in Cursor as well. You can just ask any LLM to do that for you. But it's nice to see that they thought about it. Um, and as we know, context is king. Really, the prompts don't matter that much. Context does. So this is awesome. And then the tech, I'm guessing this is the technology. Tailwind version 4, correct? I mean, this is awesome. So Kira has a vibe and a spec mode. Vibe is pretty much vibe coding. So... You can have a chat first with it, and then it just goes off and creates uh, pretty much vibe codes with you. And the, the one that I'm the most excited for is the spec one, which is the spec-driven development, where you think through the problem with Kiro, it breaks down every single thing that it needs to do into separate tasks, and obviously then it executes on those tasks. So these are the two modes. Currently, there's just two LLMs, which is the Cloud Sonnet, 4 and Cloud Sonnet 3.7. Then we have the option to turn on the autopilot. Okay, so what I would like to try and do to add to this prototype, which is not going to be an easy task for it. Uh, as you can see, I have three different tabs here. I've got the prototype one, which is the design itself. Then there is the ability to sketch and then write or create requirements using AI as well. So your PRD document. What I was thinking of actually adding is the fourth one to be able to put in like a, a simple uh, mind map. Okay, let's try the uh, the spec. So I do have a prompt. I would like to um, I would like Kira to add a new capability to our prototype. The capability uh, should be similar to something like Mirror, where I will be able to create a simple mind map. It went into the chat interface here, as you can see. So it has included the steering agent documentation, which is the project documentation. So if you look at the, the folder structure, Kiro has now steering documentation and then the spec section as well. It writes user stories, pretty awesome. It has finished uh, creating the design document. Let's have a look at it. So there's an overview of the, the purpose of it. This is the connection between the different nodes. It finished creating the tasks uh, list. Let's have a look at it. So it's the entire implementation plan. This looks very comprehensive. So we have an option to start a task individually here. This kind of feels really agentic, I'll be honest. Agentic, but at the same time, it feels like you're in control because you have already created uh, with, well, Kiro has created um, four assets that it's going to use. So the spec is also an asset here, the mind map integration. The process was uh, pretty interesting. It didn't it didn't hallucinate, even though it actually took a while. Um, it wasn't it wasn't as fast as cursor. I believe it's because it's in preview. Process was really nice. I really enjoyed the requirements, the design itself, and then the task list. In the meantime, I have also created a agent hook, which updates the documentation so it updates the readme file um, with any important changes so that is pretty awesome as well so actually let's let's go to the prototype so again we asked uh, Kiro to add a mind map 
functionality, fourth tab here. So I should be able to see a kind of a mind map UI. The way it works currently, it is suggesting to double click. So you double click, it creates a node, as you can see. We can change the name of it, user, save it. Yeah, and then maybe add another node. Obviously this needs work, but you get the idea. You can connect the nodes. I really like that. So going back to Kiro, I am I am really impressed. Um, if it was faster, I think it would be probably better than what Cursor is today. I really like the detail that it went into when creating the one, the requirements, um, then the design as well, and then the task list. I am very impressed. I really, really like the the, the UI itself, the fact that you can customize the layout. This is awesome. Uh, just the last thing, let's like let's look at the the main component. 561, 60 lines of code, which is not bad. So thanks for joining today. Um, I really enjoyed this UI and the experience of using the, the spec-driven development. Um, yeah, I am really looking forward to this coming out of preview and very impressed. Amazon has my money. Thanks again for joining and you can find the links in descriptions. Uh, obviously, like, subscribe. Thank you again.